Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode where I review affordable school fountain pens. Today I have for you an interesting fountain pen. I just bought it from Kaufland, which is a hypermarket right here in Brasov, Romania. As I see engraved on the cap, we have a Jin Hao product, so this fountain pen was made in China, but it is distributed in Romania by this firm, Pigna Romania Impact SRL. You can go on their web page and see what they are all about. Well, they have a fine writing, a school-friendly line of instruments, especially for uh, young school people. And uh, this is a fountain pen, a school fountain pen premium. It is fitted with this nib, a calligraphy nib. This is a hooded nib for calligraphy writing. Probably if you watch my channel, you saw its review, but on the previous review, it was fitted with this open, open nib. I can hardly wait to open it. So this is the pack, quite, quite nice. The fountain pen is red in color and the cardboard is pink. But this doesn't mean it was made for only girls. I think also boys can use this particular writing instrument. Let me see. Okay, like this. It's quite well glued, so I'm sorry for it it takes so long i just need to yes to reach the content so this is uh, frustrating i did not know i will need um, to use a knife to cut it but it appears that i will use a little bit uh, help from my tool like this now I can push it out I hope no well patience patience and this is it I'm so clumsy today guys usually I can open these packages so this is the pan and now I'm struggling with the cap. And this guys is the cap. Well, believe me, it's quite difficult when you are back in. Okay, I will get rid of all packs and this is the beautiful beautiful fountain pen it uh, when you hold it it seems quite uh, cheap it is made of this plastic but again it has a famous design which the chinese copied from the famous mont blanc and right here i have a mont blanc 146 you judge it for yourself does it resemble to the Mont Blanc 146? Well, my answer is yes. Maybe you think not. Okay. So, uh, this is, um, uh, let's say, a uh, dimension comparison between the two fountain pens, of course. That is a luxury fountain pen and this fountain pen. By the way, guys, it cost me around 14.49 lace or 2.93 euros or 2.86 american dollars so for around three euros or three dollars i got this new Jin Hao fountain pen fitted with a hooded nib so like you see it's fitted with this metallic clip it resembles quite a lot the design of the Mont Blanc, but that is another matter. On the um, end of the cap, we have engraved Jin Hao, and that's it. The cap on screws, and it reveals this interesting, interesting nib. Well, when I open it, 
I expected to see a classic nib, an open nib, but we see this rather strange ending because this is the grip section guys and it does have also this plastic part to fit this hooded nib and uh, we'll see about that the barrel unscrews like this and I believe it contains yes it contains an ink cartridge so an ink cartridge is included in the pack I will put it right over here I will leave its dimensions on the screen guys and also I will change the angle of the camera for you to see better the writing sample so like this I have right over here my notepad and let me take those out of the picture sorry guys and this is my notepad we will write the here of course we can use this ink cartridge which was fitted in the box but i think that for a red pen we need to find a red ink cartridge and i think i have here one red ink cartridge you can see an international standard ink cartridge and i'm curious to see if it fits this fountain pen let me zoom a little bit and even more zoom so they appear to be compatible look at them okay now guys i will take this part of the fountain pen and i will simply apply pressure like this you can see and it is fitted before I will uh, try to do the writing sample. Let me test if the ink has reached the nib section. Let me see. No, not. It didn't reach it. So it is recommended that you hold this for one minute or two before you start writing with it. And the principle is that the nib, the ink needs to travel to the feeder and to the nib to do its job we don't have time for that so i will apply gentle pressure to the uh, plastic ink cartridge and i will i said gentle because it uh, cracks quite quite easy if you apply too much pressure so i'm applying pressure and in the same time i'm trying to write with this and you can see no look 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 guys so i hope you can see let me zoom when i apply pressure we have a little drop of ink here look you can see it no and now i'm trying to to write with it but it appears that no it doesn't want to write hmm I will also do like this and um, what can I say I will try to write with it okay I'm not so sure I will make a little flower of it but hmm. I have a little bit of a tissue here to stop this ink bling bleeding and let's see if it didn't reach the nib i hate this well i really hate it so i'm not so sure how to proceed in this situation guys i will apply again pressure but as you saw it it reaches the feeder but it doesn't want to reach the and or the nib so this is the first time i'm trying to use it so i will give it the benefit of the doubt i'm not so sure if this is guilty of or all they do the same so 
No problem, guys. I will simply take out this. And probably if you watch my channel, you saw that at a previous episode, I had a um, fountain pen made also by Jin Hao, this one. But this was fitted with an um, ink converter. So, I think, yes, it left the ink, so it was fitted with a pink ink, quite appropriate for what I'm trying to do. So I will simply remove it from this one and I will insert it in this other one. Okay. But before we do something else to it, let me take the original pack of Faber-Castell pink ink that I used for the black one and why? Oh, guys. I had some spilling right over here. Oh, God. I've made a mess. I'm sorry about this, guys. It appears that, and this is a lesson for all of you, when I unscrewed this at the previous video, I did not um, tighten it. So it should um, be tightened before you store it away. I'm sorry about this, guys. So what I'm trying to do here, is I will take out this ink from the cartridge and you probably can see it should uh, go through the feeder, go through the nib and then, okay, go to the ink button. And after that, I will insert it in the same ink and I will gently take out ink. As you probably can see, it's full of ink. And I will do the same procedure. I'm just trying to write with it, guys. So this is my last attempt to write with it. If it does not write, I will uh, abandon this writing sample and I will tell you to stay off this fountain pen if you see it in your local stores so like this okay by the way let's see if we can post it yes it posts quite well and let me take out this other one this is quite a mess right here and let me write with it right over here i will zoom for you to see guys if it writes so what do we have here? We have a Jin Hao. And it writes. <laughs> so definitely, guys, if you see a model like this, try to buy also an ink converter. Um, I'm not so sure if it does this at the first time. But uh, with an ink converter, you saw that the problem was solved. Jin Hao, I'm not so sure about the model. Fitted with... Um, same uh, or a hooded uh, sorry a hooded hooded nib a steel nib and judging by the way it writes i think that this is a, a medium nib m for medium now right uh, uh oh sorry jin hao made in china made in china now we will see if we have some uh, flex to this nib and i will try to see here so no flex let me see how juicy this nib is well not such a juicy nib but i cook can't call it a dry nib. And now let's see some line variance if it is. So here no pressure and here I'll start applying pressure. And um, I should say a little, a little line variance, barely noticeable, but it is there. Okay, now let me see if I can do a signature with it. Yes, quite nice. Although we don't have a juicy nib, it does the signature quite well. 
uh, it simply glides or uh, it uh, writes quite well on the paper. Now I'm curious to see if we can reverse write with it. And yes, definitely a possibility. No scratch there. If in normal uh, it writes like an M, here it writes like a F, F for fine. And in normal it writes like an M. So quite, quite nice, guys. Now let me tell you about the fox. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog well quite nice i'm quite pleased with the performance of this nib at first it gave me a lot of trouble uh, when i first tried to use it it doesn't scratch i can't say it flows on the paper but it is a practical practical nib they call this nib the calligraphy nib but let me tell you it has nothing to do with the calligraphy always a calligraphic nib should have a little flex this is my point of view guys so this was my review of this interesting hooded fountain pen for school use what can i say guys if you find an ink converter with uh, this please buy the ink converter also because you will have, uh, let's say, a little bit of a problem when you first uh, try to use it with an uh, ink cartridge. This was my review. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I want to wish you to have a nice day, my friends, wherever you are. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye-bye. And God bless you all, my friends.